How you doing? John Kavakis here again for Form 43 in the Diecast Zone. And this is going to be my take on Brooklyn's new Alfa Romeo Giulia. <laughs> I think I got that right. TZ2. So I'm going to talk to you about that a little bit. Uh, I've been talking to some of the folks at Brooklyn and they're going to be doing some models for the FCA. Um, and, you know, I, there are a lot of opinions on FCA and uh, whether you like them or not. I, what matters to me is whether or not they produce a decent model. And you know, one of my primary criteria for collecting is uh, fidelity, uh, accuracy. I like a lot of detail. I like miniatures. And so I'll buy just about anything if it's really well made. Uh, so, I, I, you know, some people like to collect uh, certain cars from Europe or maybe the United States or maybe during a certain decade or a certain type of vehicle and everything. I just like really well-made models. And uh, so uh, I'm, I'm hoping that's what we're going to find in this new Alpha from Brooklyn. Now, the FCA is no longer the FCA. It is now called, and I had to look this up because I, I can never remember the name, Stellantis. Stellantis. So it's a huge conglomerate. And here are all the cars that Stellantis will be, will be producing. Watch this. Um, uh, Abarth, Alfa Romeo, Chrysler, Citroën, Dodge, DS, Fiat, uh, Jeep, Lancia, Maserati, Opel, Peugeot, Ram, Vauxhall. I mean, it's like they're making half the cars in the world. So it's Stellantis and the... Uh, uh, whether or not you think that's a good idea or not, I don't know, but there's consolidation going on all around the industry. And so we're, we're seeing that in a number of different areas. So uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about Alpha. Uh, it's a storied marquee. Uh, they've been noted for uh, uh, lightweight, fast vehicles. Um, they've been around for quite some time. and uh, They're always very competitive, always very beautiful, Italian-made uh, so in, uh, in, in the 1962 Turin show, Alpha introduced a car they called the TZ. It was supposed to be a sports racing car. Uh, so it was dual purpose and it, it, it was advanced. It had a tubular space frame, uh, had an aluminum body made by Zagato. Um, it had a 1500 and what is it? 1500 uh, or so 1570 CC twin cam four produced 112 horsepower in street trim, 160 horsepower in racing trim. But here's the catch on that. The, the GAR only weighed 650 kilograms. That's about 1,430 pounds. So that's a lot of horsepower going into a lightweight car. And the design on this car, as you can see in the picture here, uh, was distinguished by the cam back, you know, which is supposed to be an aerodynamic aid, supposed to help the car move through the air faster and the car did very well it was very competitive in its class i didn't make a whole lot of them but in a 1964 turin show alpha introduced the tc2 the julia tc2 now it was advanced they, they, they did some things to uh, cut the weight they made the body out of fiberglass uh, that took it down to 1,370 pounds. It had a 1,570 cc engine that produced 170 horsepower. Now, this is only a racing car. Um, they were driven on the street, but it was primarily made of a racing car. They only made 12 of them. Had disc brakes, independent suspension, a lot of really neat stuff. It was very successful at what they uh, it, where they campaigned it. Uh, it was only supposed to be for a couple of years. Then they were going to come out with a new series of, of sports racing cars. So one is class in Monza, one at Sebring at the Targa Florio. Uh, and in 2009, it, it won its class at the uh, Pebble Beach Concourse. Uh, so it's a really great car. And Brooklyn has made a model of it. So uh, this is in the traditional Alpha Red. Um, it comes in a unique box. It's the Brooklyn design box, and I'm, I'm happy for that. You know, I'm a fan of the Brooklyn box. Um, and uh, I'm getting my first look at it here. And so I want to just share my first impressions with you. I love the fact that, you know, they show the spare tire in the rear window. Um, boy, I'll tell you something. This is, this is a beautiful little model. Uh, let me, let me give you a close-up, and I'll, I'll just give you my comments on it. The uh, 
Um, the wheels are delicately made. I, I mean, the, the detail on this is incredible. And the fidelity. Um, this is as good as any resin model I've seen. And that's just my first impression. But this is a really well done model. And according to the pictures I've seen, uh, the, the small details, the minute badging uh, is done. As near as I can see, it's accurate. Uh, the grill, the covered headlights, uh, the interior. I can't see the interior real well. I don't like black interiors on 143rd models, but this is an accurate color. It looks pretty good to me. Um, the wheels are very well picked out. Uh, I, I love all the little details, the, 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 um, the brackets on the hood, uh, the windshield wiper, which is half up, um, the 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 badging the door handles the uh the the uh, windows themselves the glazing on the windows is exquisitely uh, clear and of course the finish is up to brooklyn's high standard which as of late has just been absolutely flawless this is a beautiful model uh this is a and again this is as good as any resin i've seen lensing is absolutely superb the tail lights are are uh, very well picked out um, and I, I, I'm just impressed by this. I, you know, I'm not an alpha expert. I wish I had our friend Carl Schnell here with us to tell us a little bit more. Uh, but the little reading I've done tells me that this car has uh, a tremendous provenance. And, um, and uh, what, what Brooklyn has done here is absolutely incredible for a white metal model. So uh, I'm impressed with it. Uh, I'm really excited by it. Uh, you know, if this is where Brooklyn is headed with their details and with the, the little things that make an outstanding model truly outstanding, I'm really impressed. So uh, I like the model. Uh, I hope you like it as well. They're available from Brooklyn. Uh, I just want to thank you for tuning in. I know these have been coming fast and heavy the last few days. I'm trying to get caught up. I have a backlog of videos that uh, I'd like to get done sometime soon. Uh, some of them have to do with models you may have overlooked uh, over the last year, year and a half to two years or so. So I'm having a lot of fun doing them. I hope you're having time, a good time watching them. I uh, just want to thank you for tuning in. I'll talk to you real soon. Thank you.